So I'm just filming these back to back. This is going to be my current lipstick favorites video. It's also like, I feel like it's not just like favorites, but like a kind of an update video because um, lipstick's kind of my jam, as you know. And I like to keep you guys posted on like what I've been wearing and what I've been loving and stuff. So um, some of them I'm gonna swatch and some of them, I mean, some of them I'm gonna do lip swatches of and some of them I won't because I've already done them in videos. Um, first of all, this one is what I'm wearing right now. This is Tom Ford Black Dahlia. It's one of the new matte lipsticks for um, winter. I better roll my sleeve up before this gets messy. So um, let's do a bigger swatch. It's like Black Orchid, which I don't actually own, but I have swatched it before. I have like dupes of Black Orchid um, already, but this is Black Dahlia swatched. You can build it up and make it more intense, obviously like I did. Um, I do think this one is kind of tricky to work with, so it does kind of emphasize dryness. I don't know if you can see that. If I get in a little closer, it kind of emphasizes my lines and stuff like down there. But um, it's really pretty though, and I love the formula of these. So I do have one other shade. That one, this one actually I got from eBay. It was clearly like a floor tester because it, or a prototype because it has this sticker instead but it is absolutely, the, the, it's legitimate. I've swatched the real thing in store too. It has the same Tom Ford scent. I have other, I don't recommend buying things like this without checking information about the seller too, to see if they're legitimate. But it was a lot cheaper from eBay, so it was worth it for me. Um, plus it wasn't even available anywhere else yet, which was weird. Um, the next one, so this is Velvet Cherry. This is the other shade I have. I really I like these so much that I've been really wanting to try other shades. Um, so that's Velvet Cherry. They are similar. You can see Velvet Cherry has more of a red um, red tone. So really quick, I'm gonna take this one off and show you what Velvet Cherry looks like. Okay, so this one is Velvet Cherry. Of the two, I think this one's my favorite. So this is a permanent shade and Black Dahlia is limited edition. So, you know, are they worth the hefty price tag? I think it's to your discretion. You know, it's, it, it's I can't say, it's hard for me to say um, because lipstick to me, you know, it's worth it to me because lipstick's my thing and I don't really splurge on other things. So, but, um, you know, it's it's really up to you. It might not be worth it to other people. So, um, the formula is really good though and they're super pigmented, so we'll say that. Okay, now I'm telling you right now, I'm doing this on camera so you can see. Almost all these lipsticks are dark anyways, so it won't make much of a difference, but do notice that my lips are not gonna be my natural shade to start with because these lipsticks are dark and um, do stain a little bit, so. Um, next I got, I have a couple of lipsticks to talk about from Chanel. I've been wearing, oh, did I forget one? I think I, oh no, it's right here. So I've been wearing a lot of Chanel <laughs> lately. Um, two of these, this one is from the Holiday Collection. This is La Flamboyant. It's a Rouge Allure Velvet. I'm just going to swatch all of these and then we'll figure out what to do. This one is from the Rouge Allure Gloss Collection. It is called um, Elegant. Yeah. I love this one. This one is also kind of in the same color family as Black Dahlia, but it's a different, obviously a different kind of formula. This is a Rouge Allure. Um, this one I showed in my um, Get Ready With Me video, so I'm not gonna do a lip swatch here. This is uh, Foudroyant. It's beautiful. I love this one. Such a wearable rosy brown. So that's Foudroyant. And then last but not least, I used a Nordstrom note about a month and a half ago to get this color, which I wasn't at all interested in when it came out, but now I'm obsessed with purples and Nordstrom still carries this one. It is, um, oh my God, I just can't get things to focus today. Um, La Dory, I don't know, damn you French. So that's this one right here. 
This one kind of reminds me of a cross between NARS Anna and um, Dominique. So I'm just gonna swatch this one now. I'm warning you though. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's do this first. Another one of my favorites has been this NARS um, Velvet Lip Liner in El Agua. I thought it would pair really nicely with um, Anna, Dominique, and all of those. You can use it to uh, just line your lips, but I use, I'm definitely using it to fill them in right now because they're quite pigmented from the last lipsticks. God, I feel like this video is going to be so long and I'm tired. I just filmed another video. So this is obviously not really true to color. This is really what it looks like. It's almost like the exact same color as Anna with a little bit of Dominique in there. Um, but it's, it's like great under purple lipsticks. So I'm just going to show you. This is La, La Dory. I've also worn um, NARS Anna a ton this month. I'm going to swatch it just because, but I've definitely done lip swatches of this before, so I'm not going to do it again. I mean, as you can see, that is really nice with um, Alagua, and you can see that La Dory is a little bit darker. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I love the... Um, oh, this one is a Rouge Allure Velvet, too which is one of my favorite um, lipstick formulas. So let me stop filming and I'll try some more lipsticks on. So this is Chanel Elegant. Like I said, take these swatches with a grain of salt because obviously my lips are a bit more pigmented than they would be normally. Um, again, this is a swatch of that one. Like a hair in my hand, that's cool. So there's that. So this one is Chanel Flamboyant, La Flamboyant. This one here, oh, nope, so satisfying. This one from the Holiday Collection, there's a swatch right there. This is a really beautiful red and it's really wearable. I don't find that I need a liner with the Rouge Allure Velvets. Um, I mean, you can wear one like I did with La Dory, but um, they wear really nicely and they feel really um, velvety on the lips. They don't feel drying at all. So this one I love, so pretty. Where's my button? Okay, I did get two lipsticks from the MAC Matte Lip Collection. Um, this one is Pander Me. I'm obsessed with these. So that's just, oh my God, it's such a cool color for fall. And then this one, so awesome, I love this color, uh, styled in sepia. So that's pander me and that's styled in sepia. I will say, you know, my one thing about MAC matte lipsticks, they just do not, feel good on the lips and after a while unlike a lot of other matte lipsticks oh the sun just came out they're crazy pigmented and like these colors are so unique god it's really annoying me that my lips are so pigmented right now but like all the lipsticks I wanted to show you were dark so there wasn't anything I could do on it This is so, I love this color so much. Um, so this is styled in sepia, really cool, kind of gray, taupey brown. Um, I think this color, I've seen it look so, so amazing on like a Arabic women and Spanish women and women with like more of an olive skin tone. Um, but I feel like it looks really cool on pale skin too. I remember seeing it on like the one of the makeup artists after like I'd already ordered it. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. It's gonna look so cool. Cause I wasn't sure. When you swatch it, it's like, mm, how's that gonna look? But I'm kind of digging edgy lip colors right now. 
Okay, I might actually put that one back on later. So I love those. Next, I got um, a Revlon Super Lustrous lipstick. They were doing a big sale on Revlon at Walgreens. This one is called Movie Night. Movie Night, I don't know. It's one of those words that I say different ways all the time. So um, it's just really a nice, like, kind of, um, you know, purpley mauve. And I really love this kind of color right now. So there's that swatch. It's kind of a little bit similar to NARS Anna, but a little bit more rosy. But um, it's good. I love it. I've been wearing this a lot. It's been, like, in my makeup bag constantly since I got it. I love that line of lipsticks. Okay, um, I'm not gonna swatch this one on my lips because I already did a video about these, but I also was really excited about the NAR or the NARS, <laughs> the Revlon um, Ultra HD lipsticks. This, my favorite is the shade Snapdragon. I'm determining it as my favorite just because that's the one I've worn the most, but it's like a, just a really cool kind of brown color. Like I said, if you want to see swatches of this one and the other shades I picked up from that collection, just um, watch, check out the my review video about those. So I only have two more to show you. Yay, we're almost done. Um, this next one is from Topshop and it like matches my nails. This is um, Dior Bar on my nails. Um, these are, I think they're called jelly lipsticks. Oh my God, they don't have a name on them. I have no idea. This is... Um, the shade gallery and I clearly swat wore that over something else last time you can't see the truth so look at how dark this looks in person you can see it looks more brown but like oh my gosh you guys look at how pretty that is so I'm just gonna apply this on camera too so you can see I was thinking oh jelly it's gonna be sheer no. And one thing that's cool about Topshop makeup is I'm pretty sure it's been a while since I had bought anything from Topshop makeup wise. I'm pretty sure they lowered their prices because these were, I think, $12 and a lot of their lipsticks were $10. And I remember them being quite a bit more than that. And most of their makeup was between $10 and $12. So, yeah, this is a really cool lipstick. And it feels really good. And it has, like, that vanilla cupcake type scent, too. So, last one that I have to show you is from H&M, of all places. It's the matte lipstick in the shade Landinsky. You guys know I'm going to list this in the info box, you know. This color is, like, what I wanted MAC Heroin to be. So, real quick, I'm going to take this one off and put that one on. So, this one is H&M Matte Lipstick in Landinsky. Um, I've just, like, come to the terms of the fact because I tried another one of these lipsticks um, a while back, and it was in more of a nude shade, um, and I hated it. But I've come to terms with the fact that with nude lipsticks, the, a creamy um hydrating formula is the way to go they just always seem to be more flattering that way and then with matte lipsticks matte lipsticks are best in like bolder colors brighter colors vampy colors you know i feel like they're best suited for a matte formula and also i just prefer those types of shades to be matte anyways so um yeah I just think this is, I like keep looking at myself in the mirror. I'm such a narcissist. Um, look at how pretty my mouth looks. Um, but yeah, so you can tell from my swatches that I'm not really into nudes at the moment. Um, but I hope that uh, you enjoy these videos. Um, I think I'm going to keep doing them because I just like want to talk about lipsticks a lot. And I feel like that's kind of my forte. And I feel like you guys want me to talk about lipsticks. So um, yeah, just... Uh, let me know and I'll keep doing favorites like this. I know a lot of people do like beauty favorites and lifestyle favorites. I think I'll do my favorites and then my lipstick favorites. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. Um, all right. I guess that's it. Happy Halloween, you guys. And I'll talk to you later.